Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are going to create a project. We're going to be using the Say It With Stamps Layered Butterfly 6x9 stencil set. There's actually four stencils in here. And then there's also a coordinating die set that we're going to be using to cut out our stenciled butterfly. We're going to jump in and take out our stencils. And you know what I love? I don't know if you, I've never seen this on a stencil before, but they're all indexed with numbers. You can see here, one, two, three, four. And they're etched in the stencil, which makes it really nice. You don't have to look twice on the very bottom to see um, the numbers because they're vivid and bold in the corners for you. So we're gonna start with stenciling number one. We're gonna take some white cardstock and I'm just gonna create the smallest butterfly in the set here. And since this is a layering, what I'm gonna do is put it corner to corner. I think this is the easiest way to do it. Um, and then we can follow along with the rest of our stencils in the corner. But we're gonna put this stencil in the corner. If you wanted to put pixie spray behind here to help tack it down, you could, but I don't think we're, it's gonna be necessary. Now, since all of these stencils layer on top of each other, I wanted some colors that could be layerable on top of each other. So I have a yellow, an orange, a pink, and then a purple for our, um, our butterfly. So we're gonna start with our yellow ink and we're just gonna pick up some ink with our blending brush and we're gonna lightly add it to our butterfly here on our first layer. Our second layer, we're gonna bring in orange because orange and yellow blend really well together. So I'm gonna set this aside and bring in our stencil number two. And then we'll line it up from the corner to the corner and it should line up perfectly. And this looks like the same thing as number one, but it's actually slightly smaller. So it's gonna leave us a yellow border around our butterfly. And I'm gonna do this with my orange ink here. We will lightly go over this. And our orange ink is good. We can remove with stencil number two. And you can see the yellow border. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see the yellow border that it adds. Next, we're gonna take our stencil number three, line it up corner to corner. And we're gonna bring in our pink ink. And our pink ink is gonna blend beautifully with the orange. So let's pick up some of our pink and we'll add some color to layer number three. Okay, so we have our pink ink with layer number three, we're gonna remove our stencil and you can see the fun layers that this adds. How pretty is this? And then we're gonna go in with our fourth layer, which will be purple. Our pu purple ink should blend really well with our pink ink. So we're just gonna pick up some ink with our blending brush and we're gonna add some purple. Now, before I remove this, I'm gonna use a towel and wipe off my stencil. Make sure it's... And then before we remove it, I thought we'd add a little bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna be using some Glitz Glitter Gel on my last layer, layer number four. This is from ThermoWeb and it's gonna add a little bit of sparkle and it's probably going to cover the purple ink for the most part since the it's it does dry a little bit opaque but um, we're just going to cover our last layer with some iridescent glitz glitter gel. This does take a little bit of time to dry so we're going to do this first. Okay, now we can remove our stencil and we're gonna, this is gonna dry just about the same, but you can see how it color it covers up that purple, but you can still see it, see it behind our butterfly. Um, and then we're gonna wash our stencil with hot soapy water. Now we'll set this aside and give this a few moments 
And in the meantime, we're going to work on our background. I want to create a pennant banner using um, with a print on the background. So I'm going to be using the Say It With Stamps Hello Background Stamp. And to stamp on some white cardstock, we're just going to bring in our stamping positioner. So rather than use my magnet, sometimes for the most part, I always like to tape my panels down inside my stamping positioner. For me, it just makes it easier. But I'm going to use my black ink, and we're going to go over our background stamp. And we'll just stamp on a piece of white cardstock. Gonna press down real good and then we have a beautifully printed background. Now we're gonna die cut out a pennant banner with our panel that we just stamped. I'm gonna be using the Say It With Stamps nested pennant banner set and I'm gonna use the fourth, this is actually the middle banner and I'm going to place this making sure that my letters are nice and even I'm going to use my pixie tape and tape this down and we're going to run this through our die cut machine. Okay, now we have a banner with some hello print on there. We're going to set this aside and we have extra. We can always use this for another project if you wanted to. Once our banner is done, I do have a piece of gray cardstock and I'm going to flip over my banner. I want to extend the length to this a little bit. So I'm going to add adhesive behind it, and then I'm going to use some gray cardstock, and I want a little over half of an inch showing on my banner here, but I do want to make sure it's even. And I think that's going to work out great. I'm going to use my scissors and we'll trim off the overhanging. And this is just going to extend the length, and since we have that that gray cardstock on top, what I like to do is bring in some twine. I'm going to use some orange baker's twine, and we're just going to add that in between the seams of our banner. We're going to tie a bow off to the left here, and I think that's going to work out good. I'm going to trim off the tails. When I trim the tails off my ribbon, I like to go one longer than the other just makes it, for me, it just makes it a little bit ununiform. <laughs> so our banner's done. I'm going to go ahead and flip over our banner and we're going to add foam adhesive behind here. When I add my foam adhesive, I always like to go over my twine because this way um, it helps secure it too. Okay, but we're not gonna remove the release paper on our foam adhesive just yet. We're gonna do a little bit more die cutting using the Say It With Stamps nested A2 stitched uh, scallops. I love these because they have that scallop with a dainty edge and then stitch detail. And I like how um, lacy this looks. So I'm gonna take the largest two and die cut out two panels with white cardstock. So these are our panels. You can see the beautiful scallop the edge with the stitch detail is super nice. I'm gonna layer just both of these together, one on top of the other. I love the lacy look that this adds. We're gonna flip this around and go ahead and adhere this to our card base. Today I'm using an A2 side folding card base and we're going to adhere this directly to the front. Okay, eventually this is going to go here. We are just about finished. It dries pretty quick, you can see here. Kind of gives that unique color with that purple behind our stenciling. Now what we're going to do is take our butterfly bodies, and I'm taking the smallest one of course, and we're going to line this up on our 
butterfly here. And I'm going to use the black ink that's on my finger dauber. And if I need to add more, I'm just going to use my ink pad. But we're going to go over our butterfly body and just ink this in here. And then our butterfly is done. How pretty is this? We're going to take the coordinating die and we're going to cut out our butterfly. It's very easy to line up here. Okay, our butterfly is die cut and you can see how pretty and dimensional that glitter um, which has that little hint of purple peeking out from behind it which makes it really nice. So our butterfly is done but we need a sentiment so we're going to be using the Say It With Stamps U stamp set and also the Say It With Stamps U die set. These are meant to coordinate together but they're great on their own too and I love the U die set because there's the outline I'm going to die cut that out with the same gray cardstock that we used for the top of our pennant banner. And then there's a shadow that I'm going to die cut out with white cardstock. I'm also going to stamp my sentiment on this piece of cardstock here, and we'll die cut out all at once. For my sentiment, I'm going to be using thinking about. That way our sentiment will say thinking about you. Kind of goes with our hello background. And I'll ink this up and stamp this with my black ink. And then we're going to take our sentiment strip dies and we're going to cut out our sentiment. And this sentiment strip die is going to make a perfect um, strip for me. Let's go ahead and tape this down so it doesn't shift since we have two dies on this. And I'm going to die cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, before we adhere our U to our outline or our shadow die, I want to add a little bit of color. And I'm just going to use the ink that's left over on my blending tools to um, for the color. I'm going to add a little bit of pink to the very top. just a little shadow and then I'm going to add a little orange to the very bottom and I'm going to leave a little bit of a white space in between just to break up so my sentiment doesn't blend with that background. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind my sentiment, my U. Okay. And then we can adhere this over our shadow. and we'll hold it down. And then we have our sentiment here. Okay, I'm gonna flip over my sentiment and we're gonna add some foam strips behind here. Okay, we're gonna remove the release paper off of our banner. And then we can adhere this to the front of our card. We're going to center it on that middle scalloped panel. Now we're going to add our butterfly. We're going to go ahead and just use our tape runner for this and we'll adhere this kind of at an angle coming off of that banner. And then I'm going to remove the, oop, we need one more piece of foam adhesive. Okay, I removed the release paper off of my U, and we're going to add this. We're going to overlap our butterfly just a little bit. And then we're going to finish off with adding our thinking about. We'll just remove the release paper. I popped this up with some foam adhesive also. And this is going to go right in the center of our U. Like so. Now I'm going to trim my tail of my twine just a little bit. I think it's too long. And then I am going to add a few gems. After we adhered our gems for a little added sparkle, that completes our project for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.